After an intense rector campaign, AMS referendum awareness, and ASA selections, it is finally time for students to vote. However, early Tuesday morning, when emails were sent out to each student regarding the ASA selections, many students received more than one email. Two and even three e-ballots were sent out to voting students that not only included their own username, but those of other students. Queen's News team set out to find out more about this error and what is to come as a result. ASA's released a statement midday Tuesday, notifying students that VoteNet improperly entered information, and as a result, voting will be moved to Wednesday, October 26th, and Thursday, October 27th, with each student receiving new ballots. Further, faulty ballots will not be counted. Queen's TV asked for a comment from the Arts and Science Undergraduate Society regarding the situation. We send a list of all the candidates to Mark Preston, who is the commission, uh, Commissioner of Internal Affairs for the AMS, and then he sends it to this organization called, called VoteNet. And they are responsible for creating the ballots and sending it to all of the students. So what happened is that uh, they have a list of all the students' names, what year they're in, and uh, their uh, net ID. So their net ID is the username. Um, and what happened is that uh, something got out of sync, so that students were getting a different net ID than what was theirs. And uh, I believe they tried to uh, fix the problem by sending out another email. And so students got two ballots, and uh, neither of them were uh, the students' net ID. We've asked Mark, Commissioner of Internal Affairs, to comment on the situation. Essentially what had happened was a mix-up with our third-party voting system, VoteNet Solutions, based out of Washington, D.C. The company we talked to was very apologetic and sought to rectify the situation as quickly as possible. Um, when we told them this at approximately 9.30 this morning, when I got a hold of them, they were uh, you know, very keen on settling the dispute. Um, and they were very helpful throughout the day and really put us at the top of the, their work docket and were very, very helpful in uh, helping rectify this problem. In no way did this affect the AMS referendum or the rector election that is under, underway. Um, the company was able to process that voter list um, flawlessly and that, uh, therefore that ballot was not at all compromised. All of the votes that, uh, that were gathered today are going to be uh, considered void. They're, go they're going to be reset and uh, VoteNet is going to create a new net ID and or username for all of the students. So the voting will actually start tomorrow for the ASA selections and then they will end on Thursday at 6 p.m. instead of tomorrow at 6 p.m. So everything is just delayed one day. So early in the morning, students will just receive an email from ASA. It will be the same email that they receive. They likely already received two mails today, actually. So they'll receive one email with their uh, username and password. They simply just need to log in and make their choices. So students, check your emails tomorrow for new e-ballots. These are the ones that will be counted for voting. Again, make sure that you notify your friends and other students that voting will now be taking place Wednesday and Thursday. AMS rector election and referendum voting was unaffected and results will be available on Wednesday. This has been Caitlin Ross for Queen's TV News.